Welcome to this next installment in the SOLIDWORKS course. This topic is about relations. What is a relation? You'll notice, uh, especially probably in last video, I've got some black lines, some blue lines, some blue points, and one black point. What does black and blue mean? And what are these green things that pop up when I click on a line? Well, I'll start with the black and blue. Notice that this line, I can make it whatever angle I want to. But this line, when I click on it and move it around, it stays horizontal. So when you have something that's black, SOLIDWORKS means it is defining its position. In other words, when I click on this horizontal line, I've got this little horizontal green guy with a horizontal black line running through it. That means that SOLIDWORKS is going to do whatever it takes to keep this line horizontal. How do I get relations? Well, if I were to add a line on the origin, what is that little yellow thing by my mouse? That is a horizontal relation. So when I click, SOLIDWORKS has added that relation automatically. So if I add a line and I've got that yellow vertical guy, it means that SOLIDWORKS is going to keep that line vertical if I click right there. If I click at an angle, it won't. If I click here, it adds an automatic horizontal relation. Here, an automatic perpendicular relation to this orange line up here. You can see how that line glows orange. When I move it to that position, it means it will stay 90 degrees to whatever that orange line right here is doing. Okay, so we, we see that SOLIDWORKS can add relations automatically depending on what position I create the line in. But what if SOLIDWORKS doesn't have this horizontal relation? What if I want it to be horizontal and it isn't? Well, here's how to add it. I can click on this line and say horizontal. And now I've added a horizontal relation. And I can do that with any line. I can add this line horizontal. Or if I wanted to, I could add this line and say vertical. So there are all sorts of relations that I can add to a sketch. And now you know horizontal and vertical. One very important one is often when I have an arc in a line, I want the line to go into whatever angle the arc is when it ends so that it is nice and smooth. But I can't just drag it to be uh, where I think it would be because there's always going to be some imperfection. So to make sure that it's perfect, I can select the line, hold control, and select the arc. With both of those selected, I can choose a tangent relation. And now SOLIDWORKS will make sure that this arc and this line will always be tangent. With that being said, what if I wanted this line right here to line up perfectly with this line? Well, there's a relation for that. I can choose these two lines and say collinear on the left hand menu. And collinear will make sure that these lines will always be at the same level. I don't want them to be collinear for this sketch. I want this line to be just a hair lower. Okay, so now you know vertical, tangent, horizontal, and collinear. What if I wanted to modify this sketch? I will delete that and I'll add in a line here and up. And I can move this over, move this down, and make this vertical like we talked about before. But what if I wanted this line and this line to have the exact same angle? One easy way to do that is selecting both lines. I choose parallel. And now with the parallel relation, these lines will always have the same angle even when it messes up my sketch a little bit.
notice I can also make this line longer than this line. What if I want two lines to be the same length? I can choose this line and this line and say equal in the left hand menu. And when I say equal, well, I can highlight both lines and in the left hand menu say equal. And now they'll always be the same length and angle no matter what I do with the sketch. Likewise, if this line wasn't vertical and I wanted to make sure that two lines were always 90 degrees apart, I can select both of these and say perpendicular. And now SOLIDWORKS will make sure that these two lines are always 90 degrees apart. Since this line is horizontal, we know that this line must always be vertical. What about uh, some arcs? What if I had a three-point arc and another arc? Well, there's a few relations I can make there, too. I can make one arc and another arc. I can select one arc and another arc. And I can choose cocentric. And that means that no matter where this arc is, they will always share the same center point. Likewise, if I delete, I can choose equal, which means that no matter what happens with the sketch, they will always be the exact same radius. As I mentioned in the last video, I want this tape to be certain dimensions, this tape holder. I don't want to find out that I modeled this to be 10 inches long when I meant for it to be 6 inches long. So I can start dimensioning things. Now notice up in the sketch menu I've got this little icon that says Smart Dimension. That is the best way to dimension anything in SOLIDWORKS. Now I can dimension from the origin to this line to get an overall length. Let's say I want that to be 6.75 inches long. Now SOLIDWORKS, whatever I do with this sketch, will keep this line to always be 6.75 inches away from this point. Likewise, I can determine a height. I can say from base to this point, I want it to be one inch tall. You notice that as SOLIDWORKS changes the dimension, sometimes the sketch changes as well. And that is completely fine. Okay. There we go. Let's say that I want from here to here to be half an inch tall. So this line will always be half an inch taller than this line. And likewise, I can define an angle here. Maybe we should say 60 degrees. And I can define a radius on this arc, 5.5. I can make this half an inch. And notice as I'm dimensioning these things, more and more of our sketch is turning black, which means that SOLIDWORKS knows exactly where these things belong. If I have any question as to what is not defined, I can simply grab something blue and move it around. And if I say, ah, this line changes length when I move this up and down, so I have to give this line a certain length or at least define where the blue point is. So I'll make it half an inch. How is this arc not defined? Ah, I should put a dimension here. So I'll make this two inches long. And now everything is black. So we've totally, completely defined our tape holder. Okay, there may be some problems that you'll come across uh, having one of these sketches. What if I make this 270 degrees? Well, all of a sudden, SOLIDWORKS turns yellow and red. It doesn't like it. And what it's saying is, it's saying, hey you, if I have something that is half an inch long here, and I try to make this line 270 degrees, well this line has to be the same length, oops, this line has to be the same length as this line, 
and I can't make the sketch physically work if this is 270 degrees. So what, that's what's called being overdefined. And there's some options here. I can hit the Control Z, which is Edit Undo, and that undoes the sketch and fixes everything. In addition to that first solution, you can also see where it says No Solution Found in red letters along the bottom. Click on that, and a left menu comes up that says Press Diagnose to find solutions to the sketch error. And by clicking Diagnose, it comes up with some proposed solutions and what the sketch would look like. So I can choose to accept it or move on. It has 25 different ways that uh, the sketch can be fixed. Clearly this looks nothing like what we want and so I don't find this to be a very effective option unless I'm desperate. Yeah, no real great solutions there. But if there's one I like, I can hit accept and then reconstrain it in a way that uh, I don't have to worry about. Notice the things in red are usually the things that are more likely to cause the problem. The things in yellow are more likely to be affected by what the problem is. So if I change this back to two, we're solved. So if you see red or yellow, you'll know that the sketch is overdefined, and you can hit Control Z to fix it, or you can try to change other dimensions or anything else, but the, the takeaway is when you're overdefined, the sketch cannot physically be possible. With that being said, quick review, we learned horizontal, vertical, tangent, parallel, equal, concentric, all these great relations. Uh, you may need to watch this video a few times to absorb exactly how these relations work. And in the next video, we'll do some more sketches that cover some examples of how to use these relations. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.